Hey everyone, it's November 11th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share it with Norwegian-American serial killer Belle Gunness, known as the Black Widow of the Heartland, who may have killed as many as 40 men and children. And that is her right up there. Born in Norway in 1859 as Brynhild Palsdatter Storseth, Gunness was the youngest of eight children. As a young woman, she worked on a large farm and saved her money for three years to pay for a voyage to the United States. She emigrated to the U.S. in 1881 and assumed the American name Belle to try to fit in. But she would always stand out, as she was six feet tall and 200 pounds, exceptionally large for a woman in the 1880s. She found her way to Chicago, where she married a man in 1884 with whom she opened a confectionery store. Their business failed and mysteriously burned down, giving them a nice insurance settlement. The couple had four children, two of whom died in infancy, displaying symptoms that matched those of victims of poison. Her husband died in 1900, and since she had two insurance policies on him, she received a windfall. His relatives claimed that Gunness had poisoned her husband and an inquest was ordered, but it's unclear as to whether the body was checked for arsenic. She used her money to purchase a farm in Indiana, and in 1902 she married Peter Gunness, taking his name. Just a week later, his infant daughter died of unknown causes while she was alone with her new stepmother. In December of that year, her husband also died from a tragic accident that caused a heavy object to fall on his head from a high shelf. A coroner investigated, but again, nothing came from it. Now living with multiple children, some her own and some her stepkids, one went missing, and Gunness told neighbors that the girl had left for Los Angeles to attend a Lutheran college. The rest were no longer seen as she began placing ads looking for companionship, promising her hand in marriage to any man who would pay off her mortgage. She met many lonely, wealthy men, and the first disappeared a week after coming to visit from Minnesota with $1,000 in cash. The next fled the home after a strange incident of awakening to find Gunness standing over his bed. None of the dozens of other men who came to visit ever left alive. Gunness had a worker who became obsessed with her and she fired him, but he kept returning to the farm so she sought legal protection. She couldn't be sure as to how much he knew about what had happened to her suitors and children, and he was unhinged. The farmhouse burned to the ground in 1908, and in the ruins, workmen found four human skeletons, one of which was identified as Gunness. They began digging on the farm and found the remains of more than 40 men and children, indicating that she had killed all her children and dozens of suitors over the previous seven years and almost certainly murdered her first husband in 1900. Her former employee was arrested for arson and murder, being charged with the deaths of those in the farmhouse when he set it ablaze. He claimed that he merely burned the house down and that Gunness wasn't one of the remains that had been discovered, and he was simply convicted of arson but not murder. Gunness was spotted across the country over the next several years, much like Elvis after his death. The body believed to be Belle Gunness was exhumed in 2007 to compare DNA samples, but they were unable to confirm it was her or not. So maybe she did get away, but it seems likely that Gunness met a similar fate to her own victims, being killed by someone who didn't respect her life. If this is your birthday, hope you have a great day. Leave me in comments so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so you can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Belle Gunness I say, happy birthday you bastard!